We've had enough of mostly old men leaning against the rails, scratching their dairy ear and blaming everyone else. Fortunately, common sense is now prevailing, and most in the industry accept collaboration is the key to recovery. We knew from the beginning of the COVID-19 invasion that the racing industry was facing an unparalleled, unparalleled crisis in its history. We immediately alerted the Minister of Finance and our officials started working on a recovery plan. Our response was an attitude that with the right investment, it can be a fast recovery. Guiding government strategy are three steps to respond, to recover and rebuild in the immediate term. Today's pre-budget announcement is the initial response, not only critical to racing, but critical to our national interests. The racing industry is seriously underestimated for its important contribution to our regions and our economy. Past studies indicate it contributes 1.6 billion to the economy each year. There are 15,000 full-time racing industry jobs and nearly 60,000 indirect jobs participating in some form from vets to equipment suppliers and owners. And there are 15,000 owners, 800 jockeys and 200, uh, sorry, 800 trainers, sorry, and 200 jockeys. Not only is New Zealand's bloodstock world class, it's a significant export earner and all facing an unprecedented threat. It's well documented that the racing industry has experienced several years of financial underperformance. It was part way through a seriously reformed program. Then COVID-19 arrived. As one expert put it, this has created the perfect storm. We can't gild the lily. It's taking the industry to the brink of insolvency. It's a matter of urgency for the government to provide support. And we have to protect what we have and we have to rebuild for the future. Now there's been a dramatic plunge in revenue while costs have remained fixed and the bills have been backing up. Rita's lenders also advised that they could no longer extend credit. It means Rita has faced the risk of defaulting on a supplier line of commitments by this Friday. It would have been devastating for many in the regions. So 26 million of this initial grant will be directed to supplier commitments. The rest allows Rita and each of the racing codes to maintain a baseline functionality and to resume racing activities. As mentioned, this is the government's initial response. Treasury engaged PricewaterhouseCoopers to provide a financial assessment of Rita, and PwC's analysis underlined that Rita has very weak equity positions to contend with. PwC's analysis also said that an immediate grant was the most effective means to prevent default. PwC also advised close consideration should be given to recapitalizing Rita. Can I just say that uh, this work will proceed over the next three months. Our plans want the industry to achieve value add to the New Zealand economy. We are calling upon the industry to deliver serious reform. And that's necessary for the government to be confident that any future investment is well directed. The government is also creating momentum for two more synthetic racetracks. Compelling arguments exist behind synthetic racetracks because they reduce the number of cancelled events due to weather or poor surfaces. For example, in 2018, there were 32 races abandoned, which cost the industry many millions of dollars. In other words, synthetic tracks offer consistency and reliability. Synthetic tracks sustain a higher workload for both training and racing. And there are much fewer abandoned race days. That translates to retaining income, not losing it. And they are safer for the horse. The Masara review into racing industry's need for reform urged greater use of synthetic tracks. Construction of a track in Cambridge is underway 
assisted with a 6.5 million PFG funding stream. But in the wake of COVID-19, the government has approved up to $20 million on a further two tracks. The intention is to have one located at Awapuni uh, in the Manawatu and the other at Rickerton Park in Christchurch. We not only want to save the industry, we want to have viable assets for the future. The next step is for Rita and the Codes to consult with the local race clubs on the terms behind these projects and the club's willingness to engage. The COVID-19 case or crisis has also caused a funding slump for community and sports groups who normally receive a share of gambling revenue. And more New Zealanders are turning to online gambling through offshore platforms. Both trends are seriously concerning. For that reason, the government is fast-tracking a program of work to identify how we can mitigate these concerns. It's our intention to regulate the offshore online gambling sector and reset the onshore online gambling sector. If there's going to be gambling by New Zealanders, then it's our country that will benefit, not another. And in doing so, we'll be better able to address harm minimisation and to make sure our communities benefit. Now, we are in this together. The government is responding. The industry also has to respond. And the management teams at Rita and the Codes have tightened their belts. They are also managing difficult decisions on staffing levels. Nothing, as we all know, is the same. And now's the time to try different approaches. And the industry is adapting. And sadly, though, there have been some internal squabbling in racing circles. If you are in financial difficulty, it's a bad time to be rude to the bank manager. So finally, let us thank the RETA board and its management team for its responsive leadership. Thank the Racing Codes management team for focusing and moving quickly to achieve a resumption of racing. And a note of appreciation for the departmental officials for their tireless work to date. All of us know the hard work has only just begun. In the long term, if we get all the steps correct, there's no reason why racing in this country cannot be a world-class industry stronger than ever. We are out of the gate, but we have a distance to cover before we get to the home straight and the winning post. That said, we are going to make racing great again. <laughs>